And this is part two of our adventure with Tim, the homeless guy that we just picked up off the street. And if you want to see part one, it's right in the description below. Thank you again, Sue, for the sandwich. Oh, the pleasure is mine. Thank, thank the big boy upstairs. He, he, he's, he's looking yeah, out for yeah. you. You make it to church once in a while? Yeah, I have been recently. But I spent a lot of time with the Spanish churches. Oh. In Seymour. They look really loud with their music, but it's a beautiful language. Beautiful do, music. Do they have a big uh, Latino community there in Seymour, Indiana? Yeah, they, oh, I was not aware of that. After church, they call it, the, the Mexican folks call church Iglesia. Iglesia, that's right. Yeah, Iglesia. And, and Sunday is uh, Domingo. I think they, they Sunday oh, is like a Santa Domingo or a Santa yeah. Domingo. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So like after church, did they have like a big fiesta and all that with the with the menudo and all that kind oh, of stuff? Oh crap, I didn't go. I didn't. Uh, maybe they wanted me to jump on the bus and I wasn't aware of it. I'm not sure. <laughs> did, did they call you gringo? No, they, oh, they called, no, they surrounded me and prayed with me and prayed around me and... Well, they prayed for the gringo, then. Bowed their heads, and yeah, it was, it was an experience. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Who, where, where'd you sleep last night? Were you at the mission? <laughs> you know what, no, no, I was going to go to the Wheeler mission with a couple people, but then I just stayed on the bus, I don't know why. But they were cool, Brent, and, um, another... You slept on the bus. You slept on the bus. Well, no, I slept in a Mack truck somewhere. <laughs> An old oh. 50s Mack truck. Oh. oh, hi, how you doing? Was, oh, was sorry, well, <laughs> I was distracted. Well, at least it was it was watertight, huh? Right, right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a little cold this morning now, so I got up out of there and went for a walk in the sun. A friend of mine used to love these big Uperts. It's not only in order sometimes. Yeah, how, how's the sandwich? Do they do? Oh, is it is it is it job. is it tasty? Mm -hmm. Tasty and delightful. Yeah, and the fries were voted number one for a while. Did you vote? No, I don't think I had a chance. I was uh -huh. too busy. Guess if I'd slow down, I'd get more done, but. So have you had a chance to bunk over at the Wheeler Mission since you've been in Not town? Not yet. I heard they had bed bugs, but that could be just a rumor. Well, I, I think they probably fumigate the place on, a, on, on, a, it, uh, on, on a fairly regular basis because those, uh, yeah, those bed bugs, that, that, well, that'll scare, that'll that scare, that'll scare people off. Right. Yeah, that's why I like my stuff clean, typically. And what, um, so other than in the, in the old, old truck, where else you've been sleeping? Oh, well, I had a couple, I had a night or two at the Hyatt place, and then... Where'd you get the dough for, where'd you... Well, a little, a buddy of mine, somebody helped me out, and we uh -oh. stayed there and got a discount, so it was nice. Where, right downtown there? Yeah, the Hyatt place. Oh, that was, that was nice. Yeah, that was to, a nice place. It was, it was nice. Did, did they have, like, room service and all that? Oh, I didn't use it. I just cleaned up after myself. Like a, I'm just used to cleaning up after myself. Did you get like the nice robe with the mon monogram robe oh, and all heck that? No, I didn't get one of those. <laughs> well, maybe they don't have them there. Maybe they just didn't give me one. God damn it! I got this cool pajama robe here though. It's got the leopard print on it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and it was nice and clean, like it was brand new. You know, I know sometimes the constables are a little bit hard on the homeless population well they can't they have reasons for that yeah wait have you done any time any type of jail time or no just traffic stuff so yeah they, they never threw they you never got thrown in the can well i spent a couple days in there yeah what, but then the guys what, would typically leave me alone well what, what did you do did you take a swing at a cop or no never i've never done that well why'd they throw you in jail traffic stuff like traffic tickets and then I rented a U-Haul to come here. I paid to put it down. I paid with my credit card in High Ridge, Missouri. Uh -huh. And then they stopped me at a gas station because I didn't smoke in the truck because they put had a new policy and a little non-smoking sticker and they asked me not to smoke in the truck. So I stopped at the gas station, 
I was on my way back to Indi or, uh, Missouri at that point, or didn't know where I ended up in the next minute. Would then, you have all your earthly possessions in the U-Haul? Um, in, yeah, in the U -Haul? In truck, and then I left some in St. Louis, and I've got some on a farm down here near Norman. So my stuff's kind of spread out. And then my bag was robbed from me the other day at the community kitchen. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm stupid enough to leave it outside on the window ledge when I should have took it in. And then stuff scattered. I did see a guy at the pawn shop the other day with a couple of my, a couple of my possessions, silver coins that I've been saving for like thirty years. And Are you a manusimist? I don't know what that a word is. Manusimist? Isn't that the uh, coin collector? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Numismatic what it's called? A, coins. New, yeah, a, a numismatist yes. or something. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I should have paid yeah, paid more attention in school, I guess. Well, no, it sounds like you're quite intelligent. I love your glasses, too. That's awesome. Do they make me look intelligent? They make you look cool. Those are awesome. <laughs> Where'd you pick those up at? You know what? I think I uh, I ordered them on Team Team U. Team U? Yeah. Free plug for Team U, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ding, ding. So then, okay, so you're there in St. Louis. You pull over to smoke. In the U-Haul and what the constables rolled up on you and yeah, started doing. The doors. sheriff and the North Burnham police. And then they searched me. They tried to read my rights, but I had my constitutional rights, you know. And my those state, are those are God given rights. I carried rights. around that's yeah. what amen to that. Yeah. And then they took I had a small weapon on me, just a defensive weapon that I purchased legally. Was it a handgun? Yeah, it's a little twenty two pistol is all it was, but I've never what, like a little little, shot little deer. like a little five shot derringer type deal? Uh, eleven and with one one in the pipe? One in the pipe, but I never carry one in the pipe. I always keep it to oh. where it's safe. Good thinking. Right. Because you can chamber one pretty quick if you're so did, well, so did they freak out when they saw they that you were have it. that you were packing heat? I guess so. I guess so. Did you have a permit to carry it, or do you need that in Missouri? Or? I shouldn't need it in Missouri or to travel with mm. or safely. Are you a Second Amendment dude? Yeah, sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. What, um... So what, they they see you, have, they frisk you, you have a gun, and then what they do, cuff and stuff you at that point? Yeah, pretty much, for a couple of days, and then they released me on that gave me some papers which I probably lost and this or got stolen. Were, hmm, were, were the cops well groomed with muscle physiques? No, sorta, <laughs> sorta. There was a cute one in town around here somewhere, a blonde girl. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Well, well you're, well, you're <laughs> I have a right to know You're a good looking guys. you're a good looking guy. Maybe I'll you should have asked asked her too. asked her for a date. Yeah, I know, but then they were escorting me to like a homeless place, so I was a little embarrassed. Oh, did you get a ride in the back seat? No, I just walked up there myself. So you were in the can then in Missouri, what, for a couple days for having a gun without a permit or something like that? Yeah, something like that. I never got really arrested in Missouri. And that was 28 years there. I was running Tim's Chimney and Masonry. Oh, you're, you're a mason? Oh, yeah, I've done chimney masonry and chimney cleaning, chimney inspections, certified inspections. And then I had a lot of people that would refer me business. Home inspectors would call me, real estate agents would call me. Well, you must have been pretty good at it if oh, you were getting... I was pretty darn good at it, yeah. are, you, are you thinking about maybe getting back into that line of work? I could. I still have all my tools and my chimney sweeping tools, but they're back in St. Louis, back in High Ridge in a shed. Well, when they hauled you off to jail for packing heat, what happened to your U-Haul? Oh, they confiscated it and took it to, I saw it again in Seymour. So they must have had it transported to Seymour. The police confiscated your U-Haul in St. Louis and then took it to well, Seymour yeah, for you? They did and... Well, that was nice of them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, they might have took it to Seymour. I don't know what they did with it because I was too busy tr struggling and struggling to survive without yeah. you know it made my bank account go into negative because i ordered a bunch of food too that i was bringing along oh it sucks and then i left that on the farm donated emergency food that's good for like 30 to 50 years or more oh that's like that uh it's like bunker food or survival food oh yeah you put it in the bug out bag right. they, they, they say i saw and something about that got stolen that's what i got stolen uh, pretty much the other day because i had everything i needed my axe uh, my toothbrushes 
hygiene. I had a straight razor I bought in Seymour at Trader Baker's. How much did you pay for that? 20, 30 bucks. Well, that must have been a good one. Did you get a razor it strap a with Jinko. it? It's a Jenko. No, I didn't get the razor strap, to, but it had the original case in it. The ends were taped. The original box that it came in, it was a Jenko with a plastic handle. Now, and it was sharp as a yeah, razor. But it went missing too here in that bag. Uh, P900 camera with the ultra zoom and such. Man, you're like a renaissance ma man. What are you? Yeah, a, I like a, to take moon pictures. You're like a shutter bug on top yeah, of it? Yeah, that too. Photography, you name it, Duke, you, you, and I'm pretty much into it. It's you, just, you're a modern day Annie Leibovitz. <laughs> a renaissance I, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, the thing is, I couldn't turn because it was it yeah, was a one one way ahead. situation. Oh, look at all the people out here know, frolicking in the there. downtown here. Look at that! Everybody's getting ready for the Super Bowl coming up. Oh, that's Have you been following football? No, I haven't had time. Well, it's Kansas City and uh, the 49ers. Is it? Okay, I was listening to some guys through the trip, but I haven't been able to keep, tra keep track of the details all the way. They say that, uh, let's see, the 49ers are a, and I can't turn this way either. Oh, the, uh, the 49ers are a two-point favorite. But are you a gambling man? A little bit, a yeah. little bit. I don't completely agree with gambling, but I've spent a little time on that riverboat in St. Louis and did pretty good. What, are you a blackjack player or? Yeah, blackjack or 21 or. Have you ever tried uh, card counting? They say that you can. I haven't tried that yet, no. Like the Rain Man or something and Tom Cruise. <laughs> well, they, they say that you can beat blackjack, but you gotta count the cards oh, and then you know whether right. to hit or to stay or anything. Every time I play blackjack, I lose all my money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Every time I go to Las Vegas, Tim. I come back completely broke, oh, and it's sure. it's kind of strange because everybody else I know like craps. <laughs> <They relent. laughs> everybody else I know when they go to Las Vegas, they win enough to pay for their trip. Whew. Well, I've never won enough to pay for my trip. In fact, I always go broke every time I'm there. So, and incidentally, I'm the only one who ever loses money in mutual funds and like oh, stocks. Man. If you want to get rich in the stock market, just buy the opposite of what I buy. Oh, really? Is that yeah. like the Jim Cramer theory? Yeah. That's what some people say about Jim Cramer. We said that on Twitter about him. If you want to make money, just do the opposite of what Jim Cramer says. But he's had mm -hmm. some hits, too. So. Well, not me. Oh, well. I'm, I'm a I loser. I can almost tell you something in the spaces, but <laughs> What, do you, do you dabble in the stock market too? Yeah, well, not officially, no, but I give people little tip advice, I guess you'd mm -hmm. say. And then I dealt in the crypto and Bitcoin and Litecoin and Holochain and Burge when it was out. Did you make some fat cash with that? Oh, I did. I bought a Corvette with some... Oh, what that Corvette? Bitcoin. It was the O6, C6. Oh. It had a set of wings that probably be able to fly. Right, yeah, it was quick. It was really quick. Uh, had a little accident in it too, but oh busted boy. myself up a little bit. But what were you doing? Were you doing like 120 down the byway? Something like that on uh, a curvy back country road that was hilly and like a racetrack, but different, like a Grand Prix with hills and stuff. Yeah. I rescued a little too much. Is this the library here? Indeed, it is, my friend. You okay. got you got to you got to reach outside to open up the handle from the oh, outside. Okay. Yeah, take take what's left I can of your try your, 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 that for you. your, your <laughs> sandwich there. Yeah, I didn't barely touch it. I might sit out here and eat it because I'd hate to. Hey, why not? They allow eating in there or not? Well, I think you might have to smuggle it. I might have to smuggle it. Yeah. I might have to smuggle it in uh, under this bag. <laughs> All right, you live around here, Zook? I yeah, guess you do. Yeah, yeah. If you see me out on the street, give me a wave. I'll give you a lift. I'll help you out. And where do I get them sunglasses again? Team.u? Timu. T E M U. Oh, look, 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 look it up on the computer. I've heard of I think I've got the app or I did have it. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you, Zook. I appreciate it. Hey, buddy. the pleasure's all mine. All right. You got to reach outside there. Get, yeah. There all you right. go. Thank you, buddy. You take it. Okay. Hey, safe. if you see me, I'll help you. So oh, I'm rooting for you. All right. Thanks, Zook. Ding, ding. Appreciate it. Keep ding, on ding. rocking in the free world. I play that song, got my batteries toast. You, you got to, you got to. All right, well, there's another interesting fellow there. I think he seems 
a little delusional on his uh, adventures there. I doubt very seriously that the police impounded his car in St. Louis and were gracious enough to have it sent up to Seymour, Indiana. Um, if they did, that's some excellent customer service. So, hey, Vagrants Valet on Super Bowl Sunday, 2024. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead, leave me a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I absolutely love comments. And hey, I know, I know that there's somebody else out here who needs a ride, a kind word, maybe even a sandwich. So I'm going to go find them. I'm going to go back to work. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Ding, ding.